So with this question here, we are going to look at solving the EMF. So what is the actual ch volts in the system over time? So over time, you'll have the system's energy decreasing as the concentrations of the reactants and products changes over time. So we're going to lose this formula here. So we've got the E at that given time is the E naught, so the EMF of the system initially. Okay, so that's our 1.1 volts uh, using R, T. So R is your constant, Faraday's constant as well. So R and F are constants. T is the temperature of the system. So you might assume that it's at 25 degrees Celsius. Um, N is the number of moles being uh, of electrons being transferred. So in the zinc copper, we've got two electrons that are in the reaction. And then it's LNQ. So when we're working out our Q, we look at the aqueous things or the gases. So we don't look at the solids or the liquids because their concentrations are so large. And it's a concentration calculation. So we do the same as we do with the equilibrium expression. So we do the products over the reactants and they have to be aqueous or gases when we're looking at them. So with this one here, zinc over copper would be what we sub in for the Q. And those concentrations are given to us in the question. So let's fill it out. Okay, ran out of room, but hopefully you can see this clearly enough. So our E naught is 1.1 volts, our R value 8.314. Temperature, standard temperature is 298, so it's 25 degrees plus the 273.14, so we can round this to 298. Um, number of moles is two, and then Faraday's constant is 9,000. Uh, 96,000, sorry, 485. And then we multiply that by the zinc over the copper. So plugging that into your calculator very carefully, keeping everything in little separate sections, hopefully you get out 1.16 volts. So that is the EMF of the system when you have these particular concentrations. So thank you.